hard part is with interscaling is is just a lot of patient education because they're gonna have a complete dead arm and so you have to be really careful they need to be in a sling mm. because you could really really injure the shoulder joint the elbow joint the wrist joint right. um, because you have no feeling in that arm and it's just gonna be and no muscle activity in that arm and so is that what they did for Atia's uh, shoulder surgery where it was like completely immobilized or was that just from being under general anesthesia yeah I think it was just under general oh. but um, with total shoulders or bigger surgeries a lot of some docs will use they'll still do general but they'll also do an interscaling block with that as well to provide um, some relief in the post-op period and then Expril it's actual FDA indication oh, yeah. is for interscaling block for shoulder arthroscopy. Mm. So that is for the brachial plexus then? 